that was a fun day yesterday at the Viber Fair. Uh, today is, uh, well, I gotta be at the office actually, but I'm gonna do a bit of work in the garden before I go. And when I was counting the chickens this morning, I discovered there's another one missing. So that's two. There's definitely something coming and snacking on the chickens. I tried to keep them locked in their pen, but actually they, uh, they jumped the fence, so that's not gonna work. Uh, I think we're just gonna have to be a little more vigilant and pay attention if we see something, deal with it. And why we, I mean my husband, because that's not really something that I do, that I'm good at. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm just heading into the garden. I'm gonna do a bit of weeding and then head into the office. Sun is taking a little break. Um, kids are with their other half this weekend, which means it's a good time for me to be here and buckle down and get a lot of work done because I get a, a lot less work done when they're home. So you probably are wondering what was in that big jar of eggs and why could I store eggs for a whole year without refrigeration? And the answer is an old technology. I don't know exactly how long it's been around for, but I think probably well before for refrigerators. Um, hydrated lime. Hydrated lime and mixed with water creates a solution that completely seals the egg. It just completely seals it so that nothing gets in, no water, no oxygen, nothing. And that means the egg can stay fresh and protected for up to a year. Now, would I eat those eggs fresh? Like, would I fry them up in the frying pan? No, I, but I will definitely bake with them. So yeah, that's the answer to the question. Thank you for, uh, for your comment. And I will talk to you later. After we finished at the Fiber Festival, our neighbor graciously gave us a tour of her beautiful garden. This is what she's surrounded by nature all around and she has made the most beautiful I would say uh, cohesive I don't know if that's the right word but um, just bountiful lush beautiful garden in this beautiful setting it's all very natural looking so many plants and she was saying that actually we had because we had such a strange winter and stranger spring she lost a lot of um, her perennials but even so, you wouldn't know it. There's just so much plant life in this garden. She starts almost all of these plants herself. There's hundreds and hundreds of seedlings in the growing room. And this is the vegetable garden. She's got all sorts of vegetables growing. They do eat a lot, or I should say they live on what they grow mostly. And it's not just food for production and, and consumption. It's food for, I believe, for participates about 50% in the work and, and it's just a beautiful thing that they get to do together. There's some ornamental corn and, um, and just all kinds of good stuff. There's peas and carrots, marigolds and then a lot of flowers that I don't know. <laughs> she knows the Latin names of everything and it's quite amazing to hear her rattle everything off. This is the greenhouse here and she's still going to pot out all the things you see along the walls but everything in the middle planters is ready to go and, and vining up it's all grown vertically and uh, wow and look at this a red tomato already mine are only just flowering and then sadly it was time to go so I got something at the Fiber Festival yesterday. Something that I've been sort of like working on. If you've watched Yoga for Knitters, I've mentioned this project idea before, and I've mentioned how things have kind of stacked up leading to this massive purchase. 